हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी चैनल यू पी एस सी एन डी ए सी डी एस सक्सेस फोरम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द गवर्नर जनरल्स ऑफ इंडिया वी नो दैट इंडिया इनिशियली वेन द कंपनी रूल इट वॉज एग्जिस्टिंग वी हैड द प्रोविंसेज लाइक बॉम्बे प्रोविंस मड्रास प्रोविंस एंड कोलकाता प्रोविंस बट एज पर द रेगुलेटिंग एक्ट of 1773 i repeat as per the regulating act of 1773 the governor of bengal was elevated to the post of governor general of bengal but later on as per the charter act as per the charter act of 1833 the post of the governor general was elevated to the post of governor general of india so consequent upon the decision consequent upon the charter act of 1833 the governor general of bengal became the governor general of india so in this way the first governor general of india was lord william bentick so as per the provisions of the charter act the post of the governor general was made as the post of the governor general of india and william bentick he became the first governor general of india and in the history of india in the history of british india william bentick is considered as the most respected governor general of india as such he had introduced various reformative measures during his tenure now what were the reformative measures that he had introduced number 1 he is considered as the most liberal and enlightened among all the governor generals of india the most enlightened and the liberal that means he introduced several reformative measures apart from that from the heart of his heart he wanted to become he wanted to reform the society hence during his tenure various reformative measures were taken as a result of which the lord william bentick he is known as the father of modern western education in india he was the one who introduced western education in india that to english education so the process of western education began in our country during the british regime and that too during the tenure of lord william bentick and it is noteworthy here that we know the indian reformer raja ram mohan roy who had founded brahmo samaj and joining his views lord william bentick was the governor general who had passed the regulation and as per that regulation that was passed by lord william bentick in the year 1829 the sati pratha the sati pratha it was abolished as you know this was a very horrorsome pratha or the tradition which was prevailing in india now the concept of this tradition it was if at all the husband dies maybe because of some or the other reason the wife was to be cremated she had to go on sati forcefully but this was the very superstitious the tradition the worst tradition which was prevailing in the country but by making law in the year 1829 lord william bentick kanunan usne jo hai is pratha ko band karwa diya the credit goes to lord william bentick for the abolition of sati pratha in our country and for that the indian social reformer raja ram mohan roy he had also taken the initiative as we know that raja ram mohan roy one who was the social reformer he had formed brahmo samaj and the thugi thugi they were the this thing lutarus in our country they were suppressed they used to loot the people this was also suppressed and during his tenure the charter act of 1833 was passed and already as i discussed with you that during the tenure of uh, william bentick 
the charter act consequent upon the charter act the post of the governor general of bengal became as the post of the governor general of india then deposition of raja of mysore and annexation of his ter territories to the british east india company deposition that means the raja of mysore he was deposed from his post and mysore was annexed to british india that is the british east india company abolition of provincial court of appeal and appointment of commissioner in state that uh, whatever appellate courts were there those courts were abolished and he created commissioners in state for the appeals and all and he is the first governor general of india lord william bentick the most respected governor general of india who brought several reformative measures in the country and during his tenure the first medical college it was opened in calcutta in 1835 the first medical college now why we call him as the most enlightened one because he was the one who had taken several reformative measures he introduced the western education he introduced he opened during his tenure the med first medical college it was opened in calcutta in 1835 and he was the one he signed the treaty of friendship with maharaja ranjit singh the then princely king the then princely king of punjab the friendship treaty was signed during his tenure with the maharaja of ranjit maharaja ranjit singh of punjab and kurg which is the part which is a part in karnataka it was annexed to british east india company so dear friends when you generally the question if you analyze right generally the question that comes in nda examination or cds examination during whose tenure sati pratha was legally banned your answer should be lord william bentick number two question who is considered as the father of modern western education in india your answer should be lord william bentick the third question during whose tenure the treaty of friendship was signed between maharaja ranjit singh and william bentick right during whose tenure the answer should be william bentick who is the first governor general of india lord william bentick during whose tenure the first medical college was opened in, in india that too in calcutta lord william bentick and during whose tenure mysore was annexed to british india these are the question that generally if you look at the previous year questions you will come to know that the questions had come in the examination thanks for watching the video if at all you are not subscribed it do subscribe it i'll keep on posting the interesting videos or rather the informative videos related to your from the examination point of view thank you very much for dear thank you